Hello and welcome everyone to this video on ABEP Object Oriented Programming Basics by Zarentech. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our Zarentech YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any update from us. Hey everyone, in this video we are going to discuss Object Oriented Programming concept. So OOPS stands for Object Oriented Programming System and Object Oriented Programming OOP is a programming paradigm used in advanced business application programming that enables programmers to design software components known as objects. So OOPS basically works on classes and objects. So before explaining this, I am going to take an example. Suppose you want to create a building. So what you will do? You will connect yourself with the builder and with the builder will give you some design and on the basis of it you will select a design and according to that design, you want your building to be created, your house to be created. So what builder will do? Builder will create a house for you according to the same design. So that design is basically class and the building that will be created will be actually the object. So OOPS concept exactly works on classes and object. And ABAP OOPS is based on only two things that is class and object. And what is a class? A class is nothing but a class is a blueprint for creating object. As I, I explained a few minutes ago that if you want to create a house, you, there must be some design. So that design, that blueprint is nothing but a class and that actual house will be your object which is basically nothing but an instance of the class. And in that particular design, what you do? You define properties and behavior that in that in SAP terminology, you will call them data and methods that object of that class will have. And a class consists of various things that is method, attributes, events and interfaces. Let me show you. So, you will simply go to SC24 transaction code and uh, open any standard class. Click on display button. You can see there are multiple tabs, properties. It actually contains the generic information of the class. Then we have interfaces, trends, uh, attributes, methods, events, and types. What are these are basically properties of our class. Now, how many types of classes in ABAP? So basically, we have the first one, which is global class. And a global class that can be accessed from any ABAP program within the SAP system. That is, you can access the global class in any report which you will create in SE38 that is ABAP editor transaction code. So you can access the global class in any program. And global classes are defined in global class pool and are available for use throughout the system. And where do we create these global classes? We basically create global class in SE24 that is class builder transaction code which I showed you uh, right now earlier. So this is a class builder initial screen. It is nothing but just SE24 transaction code. Press enter and you can see it. This is class builder initial screen. So you create your classes. Where you create your basically classes in SE24 transaction code. And how many types of global classes are there? We have basically four kinds of global classes. And I am going to explain one by one. So first one is usual ABAP class. And now a usual ABAP class is a fundamental programming construct in SAP system written in ABAP language. So a usual ABAP class is a class which you will create through SE24 transaction code. Just give any name here so that we can so I click on create button. You will see a pop-up screen which is asking for class and interface. Since I am discussing about class, I will select class and press on OK button. Then you can see we have the class type as usual ABAP, exception, persistent and test class. So usual ABAP class are like global classes which we create in SC24 transaction code. And you can create object for these classes in any program that is in SC38 transaction code. Then we have exception class and exception class is a special type of class which is basically defined for custom, used for defining custom exceptions and these exceptions represent a specific error condition or situation that can occur during programming execution. 
एंड एक्सेप्शन क्लासेस इनकेप्सुलेट एरर हैंडलिंग लॉजिक डेट कैन बी रेज विद इन अब प्रोग्राम टू एंडिकेट एब नॉर्मल कंडीशन तो दीज एक्सेप्शन क्लासेस एक्चुअली कंसिस्ट द कंटेन्स द लॉजिक डेट कैन बी रेज विद इन अब प्रोग्राम टू इंडिकेट एब नॉर्मल कंडीशन सपोज Your program contains some error, and you want to raise exception when that error occurs. What you will do? You will basically call these exception classes. These exception classes for that particular scenario. And how we will create these exception class? We will simply go to AC24, give the name of the class, and select the exception class radio button. Then we have the persistent class, and the persistent class is nothing but a class which refers to a class that facilitates the interaction within persistent storage, such as database. So mainly for performing database operations, we use the persistent classes. These classes are responsible for handling data retrieval, storage, and manipulation operation, ensuring that data is effectively managed and maintained within the SAP system. So these classes are responsible for handling data. Mainly, it is responsible for performing crude operations and. In generally, in any site, what you do, you mainly perform crude operations only. So, persistent classes are responsible for performing the database operations. And for creating persistent classes, what you will do is simply go to AC24. You will give the name and please select the class and click on create button. Then you will select the persistent class radio button. And then at last, you have unit test class. And the term itself is suggesting that a unit test class in a web is used for testing the functionality of individual units of code. That means it is simply used for testing purpose, typically methods or function in isolation. So a unit test class in a web is simply used for testing the functionality of individual units of code, typically methods or function in isolation. These tests verify that each unit of code behaves as expected under various conditions and inputs. And I will create this the unit test classes. You will simply go to AC24, select give a name and then click on OK button. Then a pop-up screen will come. There you will select the class radio button, click on OK button. Then at last you will select the unit test radio button and click on save button. Then we have second type classes which are local classes. First type of class was global, and the second type of class is local class. And the local class where you will create, you will create through a web editor that is from SC38 transaction code. And a local class is a class that is defined within the scope of another ABAP program or function module. That is, it, you cannot call any local program from another program. You cannot call a local class from another class which have been created in another program. Unlike global classes which are defined independently and can be accessed from any part of the system, local classes are confined to the program or function module in which they are declared. So this class, basically these classes are confined within the program that they are declared and you cannot call them from another programs since they are just local classes. And they are dedicated to one program only. We can create local classes with the help of SC38 transaction code. Uh, now I want to show you some syntaxes which are responsible for creating local classes. And the syntax is simply use class definition for our local class. Then you will you write class implementation for writing the local class logic. And then you will have to create the object to call all of its methods. So this is all about our ABAP object-oriented basics which I discussed with you. And I showed you a, a global class of CLGUI LV read also I show you the, how we can create any class through SC24 transaction code. So basically object oriented programming concept is typically based on two things that is class and object. Class is nothing but a blueprint and which is mainly used for creating similar kind of objects and objects are nothing but just for an instances of a class. So this is all about our object oriented basics. Thank you very much. 